Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'd like to thank Pastor Joshua for the opportunity to give some updates on AMP during the circuit breaker period. It all started on 7 February when I received an advisory from the church office stating that AMP meetings are to be suspended immediately due to the worsening COVID-19 pandemic. At that time, we were about halfway through our AMP 12 run and the only thing we could do was to assign homework for members. For example, reading two chapters of Dear Moody, memory verses, and songs to practice on the ukulele. We managed to complete the eight weeks of AMP 12, although we knew that it was less than ideal situation with no interaction among members. Then in mid-March, I came across a Straits Times article entitled, Hello Interaction, Goodbye Isolation which highlighted an expert saying that the suspension of social activities for seniors leaves them at higher risk of increased social isolation and loneliness. The MP committee was unanimous in sharing the same concerns and felt that we needed to take action to engage our seniors. Hence, the MP Zoom meeting concept was born. Thank God that we started our journey in virtual meetings with MP 13 on 11 February and successfully completed our eight-week run on 30th of May. Our AMP Zoom meetings were held on Saturdays at 2 p.m. The virtual meeting format remained much the same as our physical meetings. We continued to have our Bible devotions, memory verse recitation, reading of a missionary storybook, singing and ukulele playing. The only subject that we did not do was art and craft. However, we replaced it with three other subjects, namely sharing of testimonies, stretching exercises, and online games. Initially, there were some technology challenges among some of our older members. They had some difficulties in downloading the Zoom software and assessing the Zoom meetings, the Zoom meetings. However, after a while, they managed to overcome the fear of using technology and are now more comfortable with it. We praise and thank God for it. We also thank God that although we missed the face-to-face -face interactions that we have in fiscal meetings, our level of engagement and participation have actually increased. We have managed to get everyone to recite the memory verses and we have more people assigned to read pages of the missionary storybook. Many more members have been given the opportunity to share their testimonies of blessings and pray during the meeting. A new member who joined us recently noted that our fellowship is warm like in a family. We thank God for that. God has given us His grace to enable us to use technology to continue to learn His Word, exercise mutual care and keep our brains active and healthy. Please pray with us that during these trying times, the Active Minds program will continue to serve our seniors for the purpose of promoting spiritual growth, Christian fellowship, and brain fitness. Now let's listen in as some of our AMP members share what they like about and what they learn during the AMP 13 Zoom meeting. Hi! Hi. 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 Now why do I like the weekly zoom meeting it is because it's the deliberate support group for the amp and it is truly god-centric now uh i like the encouragement given through the words of god through pastor kk and deacon patrick and also the testimony by the brothers and sisters and god always show us where to go and he directed our faith yes we are all truly blessed by our Lord through this platform. One of the reasons I like to attend AMP reading is because it gives me a chance to read the book out aloud. Studies have shown that reading aloud is good exercise for the brain and helps our memory. Now, I would like to read aloud a short passage from the book, City Study. This is the book that we have been reading 
in our AMP meetings. We are lost, City Stud said, shaking his head. City and his traveling companion, <coughs> Alfred Buxton, had been trying to find his way back to the trail through the dense African jungle, but all they had succeeded in doing was walking in circles until they were now totally disoriented. And hungry, Alfred added. The men's porters from whom they had become separated were carrying all their food and supplies. The two Englishmen walked on a little farther and came upon a small clearing. They emerged from the sunless blue of the jungle into the bright sunlight of the clearing. Before we begin, I would like to uh, mention one positive outcome of going online. Previously, when we were in the classroom, because of time constraint, only a few of us were picked to recite the Bible verses. So there was a tendency to put in less effort to memorize the verses. Now the class is divided into several meeting rooms. There is enough time for everyone to recite the Bible verses. So with the camera zooming in on him, everyone put in his best effort to memorize and recite the Bible verses. Now we start to uh, recite our uh, Bible verses. Psalm 103, verse 17 to 22. But the, the mercy, mercy of the Lord, Lord is from, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Upon them that fear him. And, and his, his righteousness, righteousness unto, unto his children's, children's children. I'm not an IT savvy person. So when AMP say, let's have AMP on the Zoom, I was puzzled because I never look at the icons on my handphone. I only have a few I, uh, icons that I make use of. The rest all I just ignore. So I have to look for the icon Zoom. So, okay, finally I found it. So even though you are not so IT savvy, do come and join AMP. I would like to sing these two songs that will reflect on uh, City Start's life story. We have heard the joyful sound. Jesus saves, Jesus saves, set the tide, it's all around. Jesus saves, Jesus saves, spread the news to every land. Climb the steeps and cross the waves, onward chase our lost command. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. I am a no longer to some was Things that are higher, things that are known, this heavenly old my side. I hope you have enjoyed watching the short video clip. You may ask, what are our future plans? Well, for the next run of AMP, we will continue with the Zoom format. AMP 14 Zoom meetings will be held on Saturdays. 2 to 5 p.m. from 4th July to 22nd August. Besides the regular subjects, we have added two new ones. One is PPCC missionaries sharing their testimonies, and the other is Art and Craft. For the Art and Craft segment, we'll be doing drawing, origami, and raffia flowers making. We would like to invite members and friends of PPCC age 45 and above to join the AMP 14. Thank you. Join us in AMP14. Yeah. Come and join us, AMP. Please join us. Please join us. Please join us.